Hello everyone, this is Mr. B. Today I would like to present you my Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 46mm diver. This is the pre-Basel version, which means you do have the aluminium inlay in the bezel as well as the regular ETA movement. And I would like to give you a small overview about this watch. You see, it's again um, an unboxing. I will try to make it quicker than the Rolex unboxings. You see the box itself comes along a little bit more sporty. But I think this is also image related from Breitling. Let's open it. Inside of the box <coughs> you see a leatherette traveling case which has marked in the Breitling logo, the anchor with the wings and the Breitling B, Breitling since 1884, which is not 100% correct. Yes, Breitling is a privately owned company, but they get bankrupt during the quartz crisis and were reissued and released new watches recently. Um, Nevertheless, they do have a really great history, in, especially in terms of aviation watches. And um, they do have, as well, very iconic designs. Um, talking about um, Breitling Navitimer. Um, for me, as well, the Super Ocean is such a watch. And, of course, also the newer Av Avenger watches, which I like pretty much. Inside of the box, um, I wear my watch on the Ocean Racer Kautschuk bracelet right now. Nevertheless, I do have the mesh bracelet. I will show you later on together with the watch that you can see slight differences and how the watch looks like more with the or yeah with the um, mesh bracelet as well inside. You will find this card holder, which has inside the digital warranty card. I will not flip it or turn it around because it presents also the serial number. Just put it like that. This is an electronic warranty card. You go to the AD if you would like to maintain the watch or if you do have an error within, you would like um, Breitling to fix. And if you within the Breitling warranty of two years, of course, they do it on costs of Breitling. So you need this as an evidence when you go to the ED that the warranty still is given for this watch. On the back, you've got the international warranty conditions and the maintenance booklet. Maintenance booklet is like uh, the checkbook for the you have in the car, so they can fill in here the services, the maintenance. Um, remarks um, every time you bring this watch to Breitling. Normally you should do it every seven years to ten years. Depends how the watch is running to get the maintenance, to get the um, clockwork um, yeah, maintained. And um, yeah, this is like your maintenance record you have additionally. So, um, Advertisement from Breitling's new book, and of course, you've got the COSC certificate, which actually just say that you have here a clockwork inside, which is within the COSC specification. And of course, within the box, you do have the regular manual of the Super Ocean Heritage. 46. Of course, in different languages, it shows the watch itself, how the watch is working, how the bezel is working, how you can rotate it. As it is a diver, you have just a unidirectional bezel, so you can just turn it on one side. And international warranty. What I do like with Breitling is that you or that they implement 
a description how can you can use the bezel together with the hands as a sun compass. And how you can use the bezel for timing issues. So this is something I just saw writing does it. It has a nice touch to it. It shows more like the um, professional image they, 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 they like to sell. But for me, I do like how they do it. Let's put this back into the box. This is the leatherette traveling case. Brown leather. Oh, here, genuine leather with white stitching. Watch inside on a pillow. You do have here the Brightling hang tag. On the back side, you see the price and the serial watch number or the serial number of the watch. Watches on the pillow. I mentioned in the review of my Rolex Submariner that I do like the <coughs> um, bezel protection from Brightling slightly more. It's nothing special as well, but you have it nicely carved out. You've got the golden 56 and the Brightling B painted in it. Yeah, nothing special as well, or, but it, give it, it gives it a nice touch. Just remove this. There we go. What directly is visible is that the um, writing does have here on the sapphire glass an anti-reflective coating. You have applied indices on the dial. You do have the writing B applied it's made of rose gold. You've got high polished indices, high polished hands, minute hand, hour hand and second hand on six o'clock position, the date. The newer version sports instead of the aluminum inlay of the bezel, a ceramic one as well the 46 millimeter and the 42 millimeter um, version with the in-house movement from Tudor do have the date on six o'clock the former version in 42 millimeters has the date on three o'clock you've got of course the screw in crown marked with the right link B as so well you can see that the bezel is adjusted with small screws not screws screws <laughs> English sometimes is difficult language apologies and you can see that the whole case is highly polished steel I do wear it on the blue ocean racer bracelet i think the watch is or worse more comfortable i do wear the watch so you can see here that you have small swirls and small micro scratches in the clasp and the folding clasp this is this can't be avoided i've got here really nice carved the brightling logo again and the folding clasp let's open this what i do like um, with the clasp is that this has actually similar like rolex a micro adjustable clasp so you can 
push this and move actually this slide here up and down or inside and outside and micro adjust the bracelet and on the wrist you can if you would like to have the watch tighter push this inside I every time ask me why Breitling this just offers with the folding clasp of the rubber bracelets from my point of view this would be really a great addition to the regular mesh bracelet but until now the writing didn't implement this too far so far here you've got the mesh bracelet highly polished in unworn condition as mentioned before i chose to wear the watch on the on the ocean racer but just that you can give, get a feeling of how the watch does look like with the mesh bracelet on it um, from my point of view it looks with the mesh bracelet more steely <laughs> don't know whether this makes sense but yeah it's got some more cool look or colder look um, but as well looks a little bit more elegant while with the ocean racer bracelet it looks more yeah more sportive or more sporty i love the rolex submarina the newer rolex submarina bezel the bezel or the rotation of the bezel here is not as sharp and safe like you can hear it from the sound it's not a clicking it's a rattling actually I mean this is a 3000 euro watch frankly writing come on you can do better I think you can do better you do have on the blue dial as well a sunburst effect which is a pain to film nevertheless yeah you can see it here a little bit um, as well you can see that the the bracelet uh, sorry the um, sapphire has an anti-refractive coating so actually it's a little bit easier to film this watch and especially the dial um, as you do have the anti-reflective coating but also here the sunburst is is really hard it's really hard to catch the size of the watch is with 46 millimeter big it comes really big but um, as you see the horns are shaped cast downwards so they do hug the wrist really nicely so let's Take it on. Take it on. No, yeah, Mr. Lee, approve your English, please. But let's put it on my wrists for your reference. My wrists do have 18.5 centimeters. So with 46 millimeters, this is for me the biggest size of watches I can wear and should wear. Um, as the uh, horns are tapered down nicely, it hugs really the wrist. The watch is very comfortable to wear. It's not very high and I think it sits good on the wrist. There we go. right so this was a review of my super ocean heritage and 46 millimeters 
If you like this video, I really appreciate a thumbs up. As well, if you have comments, criticism, suggestions to improve my videos, or just would like to tell me, okay, what you would like to see for other videos or reviews, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.